James Blunt is James the Wine Guy. Here we are, December 2014. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely am going to do many more videos to the end of the year, but uh, I'm really pleased and excited to highlight this wine. So this is Smith Madrone Cabernet Sauvignon. So stay tuned for this video review. So I have featured many Smith Madron wines and of course previous vintages of the Cabernet Sauvignon. It is an absolutely sterling beautiful wine so here we go no further ado. This is Smith Madron Spring Mountain District 2011 vintage Cabernet Sauvignon and uh, this is a 14.3% ABV wine. Here's the front panel and here's the back panel. Some great factoids here is uh, first of all this is coming from 39 year old vines. Now this is an assembly of 83% Cabernet Sauvignon 7% Merlot and 10% Cabernet Franc. Now, it spends 19 months in French oak and uh, it's dry farm to state, which I think is a really sterling thing. I've uh, mentioned this before when I did the review of the Smith Madrone Chardonnay. Though right now in December 2014, it's a little rainy, but it's probably not enough rain to you know really recharge the aquifers and so forth. Uh, but I think this is a really great point to bring out, which is dry farming and it comes to wine grape uh, uh, production. And that is really important because I think we're gonna see much more of it. We're gonna to have to have much more of this in the future because if uh, trends continue, um, there's a really great uh, demand for fewer amounts of water being produced or available, shall we say, a better way of that. And uh, I think this is a really great way of doing that. Of course, it is expensive to do. It's not easy to do. You gotta train the vines also. So you have to take a lesser amount of uh, yield per acre than you would if you irrigated the uh, vineyard site. So this is a beautiful wine where I think, uh, first of all, it's 1,070 cases produced on a yearly basis. And uh, this is actually a $48 price, which I think is really reasonable. I mean, now, Cabernet Sauvignons in Napa can be really expensive. Uh, in fact, probably double this price point here. But I think you really get a handsome, beautiful, polished, gorgeous Cabernet Sauvignon that you want to you know, enjoy, uh, you know, I'd say often, really. Uh, you know, there's some really great points that are just going to be absolutely uh, that prototypical desire for me that I have in, in terms of matching uh, what is in my mind's imagination or palate, shall we say, to uh, a Cabernet Sauvignon that's actually bottled. Uh, so I know that that's uh, probably a mouthful, but it's really saying I have an idea what I want my Cabernet Sauvignon to taste like, and it tastes like this. Easier way is said. First of all, we'll do a scent characterization, flavor profile, and the point score. So on this, I'm getting notes of Stone Fruit Orchard and Autumn Time Leather Bay Leaf tarragon and uh, cedar wood piles. So here we go next. And actually I need a little more of my wine glass. So I'm gonna fully characterize this wine. Uh, swirl it around, get that oxygen to fold into the wine and uh, give some flavor characteristics from that experience. So here we go. Mm. Notes on this wine includes hayberry, cassis, chocolate, hints of rose petal, pepper, bay leaf and sage. I give this wine a 9.4 out of my 10.0 scale. I think of this as 94 points out of 100 points. And um, really well sculpted, beautiful Cabernet Sauvignon. And uh, I really like that in many ways. And of course, I, I don't want to really put a judgment value in terms of Cabernet Sauvignon must have this percentage in order to be a fantastic Cabernet Sauvignon. I think it's based on year. It depends on the artistry of the winemaker. And uh, all these things come to play. But when I think about the you know, uh, addition of the Merlot and the Cabernet Franc at a 17% level. I think it's really characterizing and it's actually uplifting the Cabernet Sauvignon even further. And uh, so these are obviously Bordeaux varieties that are in play, uh, you know, very well together because they do traditionally, but uh, in this particular glass here, in this particular bottle, uh, they're playing exceedingly well. So again, a 9.4 out of my 10.0 scale. Stay tuned for many more wine reviews to come. This is a special wine to be enjoying and tasting. I'll put more information on the producer down below. And also please list your questions and comments below as well. And let the conversation continue. I'm on many social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you again for watching and studying.